so we have to find all factors of 75. A number is a factor. Let's see an example. 2 is a factor of 10 because 2 times 5 is 10. So we never find factors alone. They always come in pairs. So first we write down 75 and we start counting from 1. 1 is always a factor because we can find a number so that 1 times that number is 75. And so 1 and the number itself is a divisor of every whole number. 1 times 75 is 75, therefore these two are factors. After that we roll up to 2. 75 is not divisible by 2. That is the same as to say that it's not even. There is a divisibility test. Basically, if the last digit is not even, if the last digit is not divisible by 2, neither is the number. But we can also check with the calculator. If we divide by 2, we do not get a whole number. So 2 is not a factor. Okay, so then we roll up to 3. There is a test for divisibility by 3, and it's as follows. Add the digits of the number, and if the sum of the digits is divisible by 3, so is the number. 7 plus 5 is 12. 12 is divisible by 3, so so is 75. And then the rest is just a division problem, because we have to find the number, so that if you multiply it by 3, we get 75. So 75 divided by 3 is 25. We can also perform the division on paper. After 3, we roll up to 4. 4 cannot be a divisor, because if a number is divisible by 4, then it's also divisible by 2. But just to make sure, we can divide 75 divided by 4, 18.75, that's not an integer. 4 did not work, we roll up to 5. There is a rule for divisibility by 5, and that is, if the last digit is 0 or 5, then the number is divisible by 5. 75 is divisible by 5. We can divide it using the calculator or paper. 75 divided by 5 is 15. So notice as the, we always find these factor, factors in pairs, and as the first one in the pair increases, the second one in the pair decreases. It's a balancing act. So we could roll up from 5 to 6. 6 will not work because 2 didn't work, right? We cannot find a number divisible by 6 that's not divisible by 2. We roll up to 7. 75 is not going to be divisible by 7 because 70 is. So there is a remainder, but just to be sure, see it's a decimal. So 7 is not a div divisor. We can roll up to 8, but 8 will not be a divisor because 8 is even. And so if a number, if the number, if 70, if a number is divisible by 8, it is also divisible by 2. So we roll up to 9. The rule for divisibility by 9 is identical to that with 3. So if we add the digits, and the sum of the digits is divisible by 9, so is the number. If it isn't, the number isn't either. 7 plus 5 is 12. 12 is not divisible by 9, so neither is 75. But if you're not sure, we can always check with the calculator or perform long division on paper. So after 9, we roll up to 10. 10 is ruled out, because 10 is even. We can roll up to 11. 75 divided by 11, it's not going to be divisible, because... 66 and 77 are, so 75 is just 2 before 77, so it's not going to work. 75 divided by 11 is not a whole number. So we are at 11, we can roll up to 12. 12 is not going to work because 12 is even, so we can roll up to 13. 75 divided by 13 is 5 and change. 5 times 13 is 65, so there is a remainder of 10 if we divide 75 by 13. We can roll up to 14 now. 14 is going to be ruled out because 14 e is even. And now after 14, when we roll up to 15, that number is already on the paper. And that's a sign that we can stop. We are not going to find any more divisors. So 75 has 6 divisors and those are 1, 3, 5, 15, 25, and 75. Before we go, we could actually stop a little sooner. It's, it's, an interesting, it's, an, it's an interesting question as how far do we have to go until we can stop. Actually, we could have stopped well before 15, but I'll, I'll let you think about it this for now, and maybe we will discuss this later. Thank you for watching.